Hi everyone, it's Luke here, and uh, I just thought I'd knock up this uh, quick tutorial as a few customers have been having some difficulties with regards to the uh, library, image library structure. Um, because when you first purchase the plugin, you've got to set it up yourself, and uh, I can appreciate that it can get uh, slightly confusing uh, to set it up correctly if you don't know exactly what's going on. Um, so what I'm going to do here in this demo is just to make a very uh, simple sort of test library from scratch and show you how these things all work. Um, I've just got this demo scene here with the plugin already uh, applied. You can see here my style directory is already set to this. It's already set to my uh, my K drive. I'm going to make one a new one on uh, my desktop and then I'll set that to uh, set my set my style directory to that, so you can see me uh, initially construct the library, and then you can see how it all acts inside of VRoom. Um, okay, so let's get going. So I've got this folder here on my desktop, um, which is empty at the moment. So this is the um, the library that I'm gonna. This is the folder that I'm going to um, set my style directory to. In fact, I'll just see if I can do that now. Okay, and it's uh, written here, test library, which is the name of the the folder here because it contains nothing. So if we render that what will happen is it will just report back the lookup failure color for that surface. I've actually got two surfaces on here, I'll just turn that one off. So yeah, it's just uh, reporting back the lookup failure color for that surface. So, okay. Uh, in this folder, what VRoom will look for what we'll expect to find is basically a list of styles, interior styles. So I'm just going to make one now. So if I name this style one, remember Lightwave doesn't like spaces, so I never use spaces. But now if I go back to our style directory, I'll just tap there, hit enter to refresh, go back to interior. As you can see, now we've got style, style one. Now that still doesn't contain any images, so you'll still just get the uh, interior lookup failure color. So now that we have that style, in fact, let's go back and make style two, and you can probably guess what's going to happen. Ooh, I didn't want to do that. Enter. We now have style one and style two. Okay. Now, when you select in each style, VRoom expects to find certain um, certain folders. It expects to find at least one folder called interiors. So interiors. Now in that folder that's always where it will look to find the images of the interiors. I've got some from an existing library here, so if I just drag one of these across uh, let's copy this across put that in the interiors now just refresh that again let's go style one, there should be one image on the interior there you go. We now have an image mapping to the interior. Obviously we've got no garnish at the moment because we haven't added any. So here goes root of the style library then style name, that's the style that you see here 
in which it will look for a folder called interiors which will contain all of your interior images for the rooms. Now anything else at all will be considered a garnish. So if I make a new folder and call this curtains let's go back refresh we now have curtains and obviously there's no files inside there but if I just make if I just uh, see if I can drag something across from another let's go for office medium blinds plastic blinds All right, let's change that to blinds then in this case So I've just got to refresh this again. So we should have blinds. There we are. And there's the single file that we've got. Obviously, you, this is for selecting single images, or you could just leave it on all. Uh, blinds up, down. OK, that should allow us to render a frame. And there we have it. About this, quickly use F prime to get quick look in and there's the blinds so it really is uh, that easy there's not a lot more to it